It is a genetic disorder that is due in most all cases to a specific mutation or change in a specific gene called MECP2. The problems of Rett syndrome uh, can affect any function of the brain, ranging from motor function to language function, communication function, to autonomic uh, function, breathing, uh, and so forth. We follow patients from ages mm, one year to 65 years. So this disorder, while devastating in its impact on the girls and women, is compatible with long life. The uh, Bluebird Circle Red Center is a multidisciplinary uh, uh, center. By this I mean there are many specialists involved in providing care for the girls and women we see in the uh, center. Some not unique but interesting therapies for these girls include horseback riding. The girls enjoy this and uh, it helps promote their balance and coordination. Water therapies again helps promote balance, coordination. We've seen girls who weren't walking, who underwent uh, an ongoing program of water therapy and began walking. And the real challenge is how creative can we be? Can their teachers be? Can their therapists be? Because it's surprising these girls can engage in these therapies beyond our usual expectations. The clinical aspects that are important to that diagnosis include a normal initial period of development and life, followed by a period of loss or regression in certain skills. The diagnosis is typically made after one year of age. However, as physicians have become more aware of this disorder, as we now have a way of identifying mutations in the MECP2 gene, frequently we're able to be suspicious of the diagnosis at an earlier age. The incidence appears to be one in 10,000. It's probably the most common or one of the two most common reasons for women, older women, to have neurological problems. Second only to like Down syndrome. We see approximately 300 to 400 patients a year. We've been fortunate in developing the Bluebird Circle Rett Center that's become known to other places in this country and other countries in general. So we actually run an international clinic. The thing that sets us apart and makes this center unique is the experience that we've had in Red Syndrome. So the ability to say, I can have you seen by a physical medicine doctor who's not seen just one girl with Red Syndrome, but seen hundreds of girls with Red Syndrome. When we're asked, well, what's going to happen? What's the best thing for Red Syndrome? In providing that information, we can speak from authority. After several decades, we are very hopeful and very excited because there are now a number of potential drugs that could be used as treatment for Rett syndrome. We've been hopeful to find a cure for Rett syndrome, but now believe it's very possible. We actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. The possibility uh, that we truly can find a cure and, and help these uh, individuals, their families, seems like it may be real. From a personal standpoint, I'm getting to an age of retirement but I want to stay a few years because I'm determined to make this happen.